Hey everyone. So yeah, I am moving from Twitch to YouTube. And I know some people have had some questions on, you know, why I am or, you know, details about like uh, how the transition's happening and what's going on and everything. So I just figured I'd fill you guys in on what's going on and uh, why this is happening and, and all that. So to really know why uh, I'm making this switch, um, you know, because we've we built the whole channel together uh, on on Twitch. You know, Twitch has a lot of uh, a really great things about it. It's got a lot of features. It's it's very well supported. Um, the aesthetic is really good, and the community is is really really good. As far as like you know, everyone like you know streamers helping each other, people you know going from one stream to another, supporting uh, uh, different creators and, and uh, content things like that. So it's got a, a very good. Um, sense of itself and I started streaming I'm gonna I gotta I gotta tell a little bit of my history so that you know fully why I'm making this this transition so I started in August of 2020 I started streaming and um, you know slow start as, as everyone every new uh, streamer is uh, because starting on twitch it, it, it takes forever it's really hard because the way Twitch prioritizes streamers, it's based off of who already has an audience. So people who already have a lot of viewers, active viewers and, and, and things like that are um, boosted to the top of the viewership page. So someone who, you know, clicks a game like Fortnite is going to see the most popular Fortnite streamers first. Um, they have added a uh, recommended page, but it's not the default page. And so this is still a huge problem. And even then the, the recommended page is not very good, uh, you know, because there's a lot of streamers and, and there's no uh, cross um, recommendeds from one stream to another, uh, unlike YouTube. YouTube is, is like a different format, which I'll, I'll get to in, in a little bit. But um, so I started off and I was streaming basically to nobody for weeks and weeks and weeks. Every once in a while, there'd be somebody that would come in and stick with me for a while, and we'd talk and you know get to know each other a little bit. There, there are people that, that specifically were looking for um, people with no audience, uh, you know, to kind of help them out, and, you know, talk with them and encourage them and things. And and I super, super appreciate that. Um, I appreciate those those kind of people that are willing to spend their time with a new streamer uh, who doesn't know what he's doing, and. Uh, you know, because it's hours, you know, it's hours talking, you know, with, with uh, a streamer. And, and so I really appreciate that. And that kept me, you know, uh, going in, in the very early days. And um, around October, I started to, uh, it was about three months in. And, uh, you know, I still hadn't quite reached affiliate status. I was getting a little bit closer. Like the barrier to get to affiliate is so low. You only need three average viewers over the course of a month. Um, that's it. Like the other things don't even matter. Like you got to stream an X number of hours. It's, it's like nothing. It's something like 20 or so. Like it's super easy, the, the other things. But getting that three average was so difficult. And it's difficult for a lot of people. I'm not the only one. Um, I just by luck, I got rated by a very big Dead by Daylight streamer. Uh, at one point, which boosted my numbers for that one night very high. And that, and you know, after that night, it went back to normal, back to almost nothing. But it was just enough for me to get affiliate uh, in late October uh, and going into early November. It's like just before Halloween that I made that line. And I'm just like, whew, that's, that's cool. Um, and I started to play games like Raft. And with Raft in November, um, was the first game where my community started to, to actually coalesce and I met a lot of uh, really great people a few of which you know who you are are still with me to this day um, and so after you know, I played that for a while and um, I'm like because I've always wanted to be a variety streamer I've wanted to play like I can't play any one game for too long like I you know I love a lot of other games and I play a lot of them some of them for hundreds of hours but I can't go indefinitely, you know, like I, I gotta, gotta spread my wings, you know, I gotta, I gotta, uh, play some different stuff just for my own intellectual, like freedom and, and sense of sanity. Uh, so that December, um, I decided to go deep into, uh, Dead by Daylight. And, um, cause I knew like 
one way to help because I was, I was still very much trying to grow the channel. And, um, uh, you know, I had, I had launched, uh, an Instagram, a TikTok, Twitter, like the whole thing. I had a YouTube, a different YouTube channel at that time. And so I decided, you know, I'm just going to focus down on one game, try to specialize in a game, play a few games, other games on the side, but you know, focus down on Dead by Daylight. And so I did, and I got really good with a particular killer, Pyramid Head, and the channel uh, kept growing, slow, but steady. Like I never figured like I'd have like wild growth or anything. Um, nothing like that, yeah, but I was, I was hoping to have like, you know, just a decent level of growth and a stable community and just have fun and, uh, you know, just enjoy the experience of Twitch and, and streaming and, and all that. And so uh, now Dead by Daylight was, uh, it was a great game, but it had, you know, some stressful moments and everything. And so in, at the end of January, going into February, really about in February, uh, I started to play a few other games. Now, when I did that, um, the size of the channel, the average monthly viewership went from a high of like six and a half down. It started to trend down and it kept going down. And I, I played a bunch of different games. I was still having fun, but I was getting a little concerned because I'd been streaming for months and months and months and just negative growth. It had be, it'd be actually like gone down and kept going down. And uh, I played Sea of Thieves, I played Minecraft, I played like, you know, different Resident Evil games. Um, you know, just just still enjoying it, but uh, after a while, it just started to like puzzle me. Like, why is the channel getting smaller and smaller and smaller? And um, for a little while, I actually took a break from streaming. Um, I wasn't really sure if I'd be back because I wasn't sure like if it was worth doing because it's, the size of the channel had shrunk so far. It had shrunk to from a high of six and a half to three and a half. Um, I actually think it was a little bit less than three. I think it was like 3.3 .3 or 3.2 uh, average viewers. Um, I still had a, a, a dedicated core audience of, uh, you know, in the community. Um, but I was kind of disappointed that the channel just wasn't growing and I was seeing other people that would just get lucky and grow. And there just didn't seem to be any amount of effort or uh, skill involved. It just was luck, like just Twitch, just randomly to like you get rated by the right person um, and that didn't seem very fair and there was no other way to gain visibility this is a core problem of twitch and so um, I started streaming again in uh, June um, I basically took all of April off I started April and half of May I started streaming again in, in mid uh, May and I've streamed all the way uh, through now I hit, I hit my one year anniversary on twitch um, a couple weeks ago at the very end of August and um, did a, my first 12 hour stream. That was a lot of fun. We played Doom Eternal. And uh, my average size, my stream's total size for my, uh, at one year of streaming on Twitch was 2.1, 2.1. And this is me streaming every single day, um, except for the, the like six weeks I took off, every single day, anywhere between four and eight hours, usually averaged about six hours. Um, I was making YouTube videos, clip collections, funny moment type things, uh, TikTok videos, clips everywhere, like really trying, like trying hard. And, um, and yes, I had the YouTube, but it was very much a second priority. Um, I was very focused on Twitch being my primary thing with the others being like complimentary. And uh, yeah, it just kind of, hit has just been scraping bottom and you know i would i would like for the channel to grow i would like for it to grow i think we have we have an excellent uh discord community um the community around the channel has has just been amazing i play a lot of games with you guys and um we have a lot of fun and i would like for more people to find us and join our community you know uh, a lot of you guys have become friends uh, and now play games with each other and talk with each other and everything. It, it's it's great to see that. Like that's what I love about streaming. Uh, during that that six week gap that I stopped, I had to come back because I just I love streaming too much. I just love it. I love streaming. And um, you know, many of us have just become like good friends over the course of all these these months, the past year that I have been streaming. So 
that was the number one catalyst that kind of made me go, maybe Twitch is the wrong platform because of it's just total stagnation. And I don't know why. I can't figure it out. I've tried everything. I don't know why um, the channel stagnated so hard. And it's not just mine. There's a lot of other people who have have it a, a t- had had a total stagnation. And um, additionally, there are the the hate raids that have been happening on Twitch. These things are not new. They have been happening for months and months and months. Um, a bunch of awful scumbag people. Uh, mass raiding small LGBT streamers and uh, just spouting vile stuff. It doesn't matter that it's against Twitch's TOS. Um, they still would do it. They'd make, you know, just Smurf accounts and go and do it. So that, and, and, and their lack of doing anything about it. Like they knew about it because every streamer that got raided in that way would, of course, contact Twitch and be like, what the hell? And they didn't do anything. They, the Twitch didn't, didn't bother doing anything about that. Um, and so finally they had recently had the, a day off Twitch, hashtag a day off Twitch, um, which I don't think is very, I, I don't think it's very effective. It does raise awareness about the issue, which is good, but Twitch doesn't care. They don't care. There's a, there's a direct conflict of interest because I think many of these accounts um, are operated by individuals who themselves are paying subscribers to other channels or um, are buying bits and buying stuff from Twitch. So Twitch is making money from these and there's a, I think there's a conflict of interest there. And so, which is why they've been so slow to act, you know, cause it all goes down to money. It's like to, in Twitch's mind, what is the lesser of two evils? Banning all the, the, the hate group or allowing the LGBT to like just suffer and not do anything. Uh, and, and maybe they end up leaving the platform. So, you know, it's like, which is going to lose them less money? I think is what's really going on in Twitch's head because they're a corporation and this is what they do. Um, it always it always comes back to the money. And, and, and people were saying that it was just, they were going to give like a token, uh, uh, you know, solidarity, you know, we condemn this thing. And that's exactly what's happened. Uh, I got an email today talking about, we're going to implement, we're working on something that's going to implement uh, changes and whatnot. And it's like, guys, you've known about this for months, months and months and months and months and months. Like, and it's not, again, it's, it, that is not even uh, the sole problem of Twitch. There are so many other problems. Uh, clips are not browsable. So you cannot find, like the, the browsable clips would be the best way of finding new, not only new streamers, but finding just entertaining com- uh, uh, content. And they could run ads and monetize those things. So that would make Twitch more money. And the streamer would be more successful because of the growing audience. Like the audience would move around and share better. Um, but they don't do that. They don't do that. Um, there's, there's a lot of problems. There's a lot of problems with Twitch. Um, most of them are fairly small, but they add up, you know, there's too many small problems. Um, and so I'm like, I might as well try YouTube. Um, more and more people have been going towards YouTube. Uh, recently there's been a lot of big, uh, high profile streamers that have been going, um, some individuals that are uh, streaming, I regard as streaming experts like Harris Heller, who I regard very highly for his advice. Um, uh, he also makes stream beats, which we're listening to right now, uh, which is DMCA free music, which again is something Twitch needs to provide that YouTube does, but Twitch doesn't. It's like, come on, like Twitch, literally Twitch has everything to lose here. They have, they've already got the uh, community, they've got the support, they've got the like the emotes and the um, the culture and having bits and raids and uh, you know hosting streams like all this infrastructure made for streaming and they've been rising for years unopposed in the streaming in the gaming streaming uh, you know area and they're just sitting there doing nothing with it and YouTube has as, as bumbling and slow as YouTube is to make changes, make good changes, positive changes. They are making those changes. Um, it's slow. It's painfully slow. But I see YouTube gaming as becoming the next big streaming platform. Um, just all signs are pointing there. They have a long way to go. 
but I just see that as having way more potential and they're listening to more feedback. They're implementing more changes that are more positive. Plus the fact that YouTube already has the infrastructure with um, things like, you know, videos and, and you know, uh, browsable and recommended content. So it's not just a streaming platform. It's also regular YouTube, like, and that's, that's how I'm going to be treating my channel, my new YouTube channel. So, um, I'm going to have a multi prong content on my channel. So I'm going to have live streams. Um, the live streams will be, uh, just permanently available in organized playlists. So like if we play a game of resident evil seven, you know, and we have a great time and you know, somebody wants to rewatch that it will be in a nice, neat playlist forever. Like that's great. So we're going to have that. I'm going to have clips and, you know, highlights and things of just like funny moments. That's going to be another thing that's going to be on the channel. Um, I do plan on having some game reviews. Um, the exact format of which I'm not quite sure I'm still deciding, you know, because sometimes I like to do them right after I finish a game like I did with Doom Eternal recently. Um, I don't know if I'll put that on YouTube, but we'll see. But anyway, um, or if I'll do a separate video sort of like this where I talk about the game and shows like some footage or something. I don't know. It depends on how much editing I'm able to do. Um, but I also would like to have uh, just some other minor videos here and there, uh, you know, shorter videos talking about, you know, just either... IRL stuff that I see like funny weird stuff, you know, just kind of a little extra, you know, bit to the channel. So the channel is going to have uh, multiple different types of content, mostly revolving around gaming. And um, I just feel so much better about that. I feel so much better about YouTube and the direction that the channel is going to go and what the channel can offer you guys. And I think it's going to help, you know, bring in more people to our community, to our discord. And I'm very optimistic that it's it's just going to be good. I think this is going to be a good move. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope that it is something that will continue to grow um, and just be something, you know, that is just fun. We can all just have a good time and just, just enjoy things. So I hope that clarifies why I'm moving from Twitch to YouTube. Um, for anyone who's disappointed that I am leaving Twitch, because some people are very loyal to Twitch and I, I can understand why. Um, like I said, they do have some of those, those big advantages that YouTube just doesn't have. You know, there's no Twitch fire. There's no, uh, BTTV. Um, so we're going to have to work around that with, with YouTube and I'm still learning. I'm very new to, to streaming on YouTube. So bear with me as, as, as I, uh, learn this, but, um, I understand like if you're frustrated or, or disappointed, um, that I'm leaving or that other people are also leaving. So, um, you know, I, I do apologize for those who, who are disappointed that I'm leaving Twitch. Um, I hope you'll come with me, um, and give, give YouTube a chance. I mean, I'm giving YouTube a chance. Who knows? Maybe this will be an awful mistake. And then, you know, another six months I'll be like, damn, I shouldn't have left Twitch. But then again, I think there's a lot more possibility to of good things to win with going with YouTube. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I think that about, uh, hits everything that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I hope that, uh, answers everything. I'm going to be getting, uh, my first streams up very soon. Uh, I just want to make sure all the settings and everything are working good for you guys. So we have as smooth of a transition as possible. So, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for sticking with me and, and bearing with me through this, this crazy time. Like I've had to do so much stuff behind the scenes to get this all working, uh, and transitioned over. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I look forward to seeing you all and I look forward to seeing any of you who might be new, uh, coming onto the, the channel and, um, hope you all enjoy. I will see you guys in the live stream. <laughs>